Hello Z-Bird! In today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are checking out the Z plus F Splat Charger. This Charger variant is equipped with a splash wall and a triple ink strike, which should make it a pretty potent long range combo. So let's go check it out! Okay, so of course we still have our big run results. I haven't had the chance to take a look at these, but of course at Inkpot Art Academy, it was pretty intense. Um, thank you for participating in an official Grizzco big run. We appreciate your support and have prepared a small token of gratitude. What is it, what is it? All right, so I don't think we got too high in the percentage. Last time we didn't even make top 50. I guess we'll see this time if we're able to make it happen. Oh, we did, top 50, awesome. So hey, that's something, I'm happy to see it. Okay, so uh, what do we get for that then? Do we get any kind of crazy reward? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, interesting for sure. But yeah, with the salmon art all finished up. Okay, so here's our reward. The bronze decoration looking good. We'll definitely use that to freshen up our locker one day. But for right now, let's go and check out the weapons over at um, the Sheldon Weapon Shop. We got a new splash tag there too. So what are we gonna be checking out today? So here's the Z plus F Splat Charger they'll be showcasing in today's episode. We have high range, decent charge speed, and low mobility. Paired with the splash wall and the triple ink strike, I think it'll go pretty well. I like on the weapon itself here, you can see these little patterns on the canister. I like it a lot, for sure. Visually, this is a very nice weapon, so we'll exchange a ticket for it and get it equipped straight away. And we'll just go and try it out. See how we can do in some turf war and stuff. We'll go over to the lobby just like that. and. I'll give it my best shot at you guys know I'm not the best with chargers, but hopefully there's something we can do here. So obviously works like a normal charger in that way. But if we want to fill up some turf really quickly, we should be able to toss this over too. That doesn't really cover up too much ink, but it helps us hide behind something if people are trying to attack us, which is always good. But we just need to keep filling up the ground until finally we get the triple ink strike. So we're a little bit more protected in the close range and a lot more effective in the long range. So things should turn out pretty well, I think. Let's start with a couple rounds of Turf War and then maybe we'll move on to Anarchy Battle. As you can see, we have Museum de Alfonso and Makomar as our two maps, so let's give it a go. All right, our first round with this weapon is here. I'll try to hide up here a little bit. I don't know where I can go where maybe our teammates might not be too much, but it looks like we're not the only charger on this team, which is not what I prefer too much, but it's fine. We'll just cover up what we can as we're heading out there, just focus on getting some spots. It's been about a week since I've last played, so I'm definitely expecting to be a bit rusty to start today's episode off, but I think we could bounce back in a pretty major way. Okay, I do see somebody over there. I think for right now I'm just better off just you know continually charging, filling this stuff up. I do need to refill on my ink a little bit, and they might have spotted me in some way. I'm not really sure how, but uh, yep, we'll get up here. <laughs> we just still have our other charge of teammate around here. So far, I mean, we're doing all right with covering this turf. I don't see too many of the enemies. Oh, there you are. Okay, I got you. Awesome. And then there was another one right over here, but I don't know where they went now. Ah, okay, they're right there. Come on, how did that miss? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whatever. That really is not so good. They got us with the crack on splat roller. If I could have backed up, I could have at the least gotten my triple strike. I should have put out the little wall while I had the chance, I suppose, but I was a little panicked there. I thought I could land the shot, and then it just turned out I, I couldn't. Okay, uh, oh, I missed him again. They were right over there. Ah, oh, they got me, they snuck around. Too many people just running around at the same time. I don't know, I just feel like we had them pretty lined up and had the X on the reticle, I let go and no shot, so. Just doing what I can, but still this stuff, not even covered by either team. I could definitely fix that up a little bit. Oh no, but they found me, they found me. Uh, I think they think I'm over there somehow. Okay, time to run, time to run away because I can't do anything else here. Gotta get out of here, come on. Everybody on their team is just right over there. I guess we'll hop back down this way then because things are looking a little bit nasty. We're in the danger. And that's just sort of to be expected with our weapon layout here with two chargers. We just really can't compete as much. Oh no. We got them, we got them. Okay, that was good. Not typically how I like to do that. Okay, well I tried to shoot them. What else could I do? Not the best map for this either. I don't know, just sometimes the game's just like, whatever, you can't win this one because we're not gonna give you a team with the best weapons for the job. 
Let's just keep going. Oh no, they found me straight away. Oh, okay, that did not get them at all, but it looked like it was going to. Oh, there we go, much better, much better. All right, got them. Okay, now we're picking up something. If I could just get up here, cover up some more turf, and get the triple strike, we'll be in a way better position. So I'm putting this down, and then, oh no. Uh, I see them down there, I, I, I can get them, I can get them. So let's just throw the triple ink strike around. I'll do what I can with that. It splatted another person, so this last minute, we might be able to turn it around. Please let that be the case, I think so. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, I think we did it. So I guess I complained a little bit too much because we were more than capable of making it happen. We just needed the right splats at the right time, and even then I get a bunch of silver medals, it's fine. All right, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. We were able to make it work and get ourselves a victory. Okay, so we're doing Mako Mart here. Let's see if we can't fill up some more turf and get another win. That was definitely a crazy situation last round. Really happy for it, but I don't know if that'll happen twice, but we'll just take everything we learned from it. So far, definitely liking this charger combo, though. I like the wall, and the triple strike's always a good time. Right now, there is a lot of stuff to fill up over here, though, but with it, I should be able to, yeah, get this. And I might just sort of throw them around a little willy-nilly. Just as we're getting started here, any kind of turf coverage can help. I definitely want to utilize the high ground to our advantage. Looks like teammates are trying to jump over to us. Which is good and all, but okay, now there's too many of us over here. So if I could just do something like that. Ah, uh, couldn't quite reach them from there. But I did see you over, okay, I waited way too long out in the open. They got me with the crab tank. Yikes. So I saw somebody over there for a moment, but it looks like one of our teammates when I got them. And oh no, our controller battery is low. That is not what I need. The charge up between rounds. Ah, couldn't quite reach them. But at least I can undo what they were up to pretty quick. Putting that down. Ah, they're jumping away. Okay, see you then. I guess we'll just be able to take over this area. Hmm. Okay, almost got them. It didn't quite work though. That really stinks. I don't know how I missed in there, but that's just sort of the thing about Splatoon aiming that I've never really gotten too much of a grasp on in any of the three games is just charger aiming. That really seems to line up for me pretty well. But when we do make it work, as we saw last round, it can go really good. And I've always, you know, I've tried a mix of both just motion controls, just analog controls, or somewhere in between. Currently, oh my goodness, they really wanted me out of there. I, you know, right now I have sort of a bit of a mixture, and that seems to be what's best for me overall, but it's still not easy. I know some people swear by one or the other. Oh no, well, well, wait, wait, okay, I'm going down here then. Ah, oh, couldn't quite reach them. I got them a little bit, but I ran out of ink at the perfect timing, which is something very common for me. So, will we be able to make this work? I don't know, it's gonna be really, really close. I definitely need to charge up, let some stuff out this way. Just like that. And I'm not really focused on splats too much at the moment. Ah, oh, I tried, I knew you were about to. No, you don't, no, you don't. I'm over here now. Oh, okay, it was a trade. That might be something. Hopefully our teammates can use it to capitalize, but it looks like they're too busy fighting people. I don't know. We'll jump over, just do what we can, whatever that ends up being. Oh. They got me with that? Okay, if you say so. So I don't think this round's gonna go as well as last time. I think last time was definitely a lucky circumstance, but we got a win and a loss, and I think it really still just illustrates what we can and can't do with this weapon in Turf War. So I think now might be a good time just to hop over to a different game mode, because that was fun, but it just wasn't really my cup of tea when it comes to how we could use a charger. Okay, so since we've gotten our quick fill with Turf War, let's take a look at our Anarchy Battle. We either have our current Anarchy Battle series we're still working towards, we have Rainmaker, or we could do Tower Control. I think we'll do a round of Rainmaker, see how that feels, and if not anything else, we'll switch over to Tower Control. All right, so our first round here of Splat Zones is gonna be at, what is this, the museum, I believe? All right. There it is. Well, not, not Splat Zones, Rainmaker. <laughs> Getting it all mixed up. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them, whoa, we got the Splat there. That was cool. And I guess we might've gotten them. Well, it's hard to tell exactly what happened there. Come on, one more shot. There it is, awesome. So 
Okay, we want to go this way now. Go, go, go. You got it. You got it. And then we have to head up there. But to do that, we need to break this open. And I just don't think we'll be able to do that straight away. I can't believe that shot didn't land. Or that one. You know what? Doing that. And then we're oh, going to get spotted by somebody else over there. So that didn't really go the way I thought it would. Yikes. I thought they would all come right through this way. So... <laughs> It looks like they broke through our barrier too. So while we did get a lead, they're taking it straight back. And then they get that again. How did that shot not land? I don't know, but they just got all of us. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Uh, This is not good. Come on, come on, toss it over. Okay, they're not as close as I thought they would be. And I might just wanna go somewhere else, try it from a different angle, but I don't know if that, that might be too much. That might be, okay, wall down. And I just trying to splat them. I got one of them that way, but I can't I can't fire that often. They lost to Rainmaker, which is good, but all of our teammates are getting splatted left and right. So this is a little bit of a mess so far. Uh come on, come on. Go ahead and grab that. Let's make a path. And I will try to yeah, get them. Uh couldn't get that other person, but I was able to get one splat, so. You know, that's something. And as we're fighting for this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the C plus F splat charger? Is this a charger you plan on trying? This is, of course, a new one with this brand new season that's been going on. Okay, so our team got it, which is, you know, pretty good. It seems like they are all over the place at the moment. Hard to know exactly what I want to do here, but I'm going to toss that wall over there. I did not even see that it was about to explode. This is really not good. Because so far I think it's a pretty cool charger. I like the kit with it, but it's still a charger, so I'm not super duper in love with it. Okay, maybe going out this way was a mistake. Just trying to sneak up behind them though. And just splat them. Got them? Okay, good enough, good enough. It's a little bit more of a direct way to solve the problem, but it buys us a couple of seconds so that hopefully my team can get back up and get some stuff done. Because now I can just throw that out there. I see you up there, but I can't quite make that shot. All right. I know that you're about to land right there. Perfect. Okay, I need to charge up here. Then I need to like go down here or something. How did that not land? Come on. I don't know what's going on there. I'm looking at them, I'm shooting. <laughs> Jeez. But it looks like our teammate got it. That's good. That was a little weird, but. I'm hoping I can get the triple ink strike soon. In the meantime, my teammate is struggling a little bit. That did not go out nearly as far as I was hoping. Oh, they're up there. How did they get up there? Oh, gotcha. Got them, I think. Somebody got them. Um, We got the team wipe out. Somebody needs to blast that stuff open. And then we need to move it. Just like that. But they're behind me right now. I gotta move. I can't move. There's just too much stuff. Jeez. Because they were one point away from winning. So we need to win this to actually get a full win. Like, we need to take it all the way. We can't just rest on, like, a point lead. Because you don't get it any closer than they did, you know? So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, that was a lot better. That's probably one of the best charger sequences I've ever had. And there we go. We get a wipeout. Let's see what else we can do around here. We have the Rainmaker. I need to just get out there however I can. The problem is I just can't really see where they are and then they jump right on top of me. This specific spot on the map is so difficult because you're just so vulnerable to somebody jumping on top of you and taking you out that way. I don't know exactly where they're gonna go. All right, well, that's a little frustrating because <laughs> they can just hop right on top of me. We were just both sort of trying to do the same thing there, and that's not good. With a few seconds remaining, unless we take this back and bring it all the way, they're gonna try to sort of play for time. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? You're gonna splat me, that's what you're gonna do. So three seconds left, can somebody take it? It's an overtime, so this is our last chance. I'm going to go way over this way, I think. Anyway, we can get there sooner. Ah, oh, that's game. Okay, maybe not the best start to Anarchy Battle so far, but it is what it is. You know, I contributed there. I got a couple of good splats I'm pretty proud of. 
so let's see if we got any good medals. Yeah, definitely a bit of a struggle with this weapon. Two losses and a win so far, but there's plenty of today's episode to bounce back. But let's see, is that gonna be our third loss for this series? I, it might be. We got record score setter though, and Rainmaker Stopper and one other thing. Okay, so series complete, we're gonna get 165 points, which is definitely more than I put into it. So we're getting closer to B plus, that's really good. See, so you know what, I won't be too upset by that one, but you know what, since we've finished that up a little bit, maybe we should try tower control a little bit. Because I think that was the other non-serious thing we have here is Hagglefish Market and Manta Maria. We haven't tried Manta Maria yet, so that'll be exciting. Okay, so our first tower control round is gonna be Hagglefish Market. This is always a fun one, but I don't know if it'll be the best for a charger. It could be, actually. Yeah, this one, I feel like maybe a little bit more tailored to long range weapons. So we could stay on top of here. We need to, but I guess we'll see in a moment. If they try to hop up onto that tower, we can just blast them, but they're waiting for the same thing on the other side. And so far, they're not trying to get all the way over. They lost the tower, so it's gonna reset now. The problem is I don't get any ink up here. Okay. Couldn't quite reach him. That's fine. We're gonna hop down here so I can just refill real fast. But then... Okay, I tried to hit them with that. Let's back it up. I think somebody might be coming around the side. I got too distracted at the worst time and they were just able to get me with the same weapon that I have. Oh no, theirs is a splatter scope, so probably a little bit more range to it. Gotcha. We took the tower down though, and, it, it, and we've taken the lead. Okay, cool, so let me just try to catch up with them as soon as I possibly can. Somebody's gonna jump to me, so I'm trying to be careful and see if we can take on at the moment. And then somebody was over there. I'm so bad at the charger. I'm not standing in the best spot for that. Um, but, I mean, our team is in a good position, so as long as we can just play defense and make sure that they don't take it as far as we've taken it, we'll be fine. Right now, I wanna sort of cover up whatever ink is on there so that they do get on top. Because they're gonna try to throw that Booyah bomb. And then, oh, I saw you down here. Gotcha! Gotcha! Okay. And then, I see you over there. I, I almost got them. I let go with it right lined up with them, but then they splatted me instead. This one splatter scope player has my number for sure, but two splats there was a pretty big deal. Which shows you it's not about, you know, making every shot you line up as long as you just take your time with it. The ones that count will come. Maybe I'm a little too close. I'm a bit nervous by this, but you know, what we could do is just toss this there. It went way, way too far, but who can I go for around here? I don't see any of the opponents, so that's good for us. I got one Splatana player over there. Let's go over like that. And I don't know if that'll actually get anybody. Doesn't seem like it, but at least keeps them at, at bay. I'm getting attacked by different angles here. I just don't know. Oh, darn. Not quite gonna work. I don't know if we're gonna be able to reach him from that. Oh, no, Autobomb! Can I get them, can I get them? No, my aim was just not really working. So, <laughs> that didn't quite work out. Oh, well. It was close, so I think I got one of their shots on them. They took the tower. I forgot to pull again my controller, so that's really not good. But, uh, I mean, we're still in the lead here. We're actually taking an even greater lead. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Let's be careful that, oh no, more people are after me, I guess? Uh, wait, okay. Yeah, I'm just not in a good spot. Oh, they fell down there. This is a mess. I don't quite know what to do about it because there's just too many people and I don't know who to focus on. But uh, they still have not even taken the pass the first checkpoint. They only have a minute and a half left to do that. So if I could just, oh no. Wait, get that there. Somebody uh was over there and there's somebody behind me. I just, uh, it's either I'm too far away or I'm in just a total danger zone. They're trying to take back that that tower. They got past, I think, one of the checkpoints? No, they haven't. Gotcha, finally, that feels good. That feels so great to finally get. Ah, oh, almost got them. 
trying to be ready for them. And somebody else found me. Yikes. But I'm glad I was able to get the other charger player for once. And honestly, I don't mind if they try to keep it on our side of the map, just so that way we can clear out the tower and just let the overtime tick out. But we'll see. Oh no. Put the wall down. Oh no, they're gonna come for me. Uh, I can't really do too much about that. I thought we had more teammates around. Let's see. Um, oh, here comes a Booyah Bomb. Where are they gonna toss at, though? Just right there, and that, that's still gonna get me. I thought I'd be outside the range of it. I don't know, it's been a real struggle so far today. But it doesn't matter how many times they spot us if they can't push this tower any farther. So you know what? I'm fine with that. Considering that, feels like a fair trade. Um, Where do they go? Okay, Uh, let's just get on top of it then. I'm just going to try to spy you like this and it worked! Okay, that's enough for us to win, so I'll definitely take it. Maybe not the best splats most of the time, but it feels like we're getting some of the ones that we need when we need them, so that's great. We've got the super jump spot, the spot assister, and the tower stopper as our three medals this time too, so yeah. They don't help us with points in just the single mode, but it's still nice to see them. It means that we're contributing and that's nice. Okay, round two of Tower Control has us at the Manta Maria. So this is gonna be exciting. We haven't played this map in Splatoon 3 just yet. This is our first chance to do it and I can't wait. Can we hit the walls here? We can, so we can get up like this, no problem. Now this map, I might not do the best on it as we're trying to figure out what to do really, but I do see somebody way down there that I can't quite reach, so. How can I maybe reach them like that, okay? Oh, I almost got them. Now they're a little too far from that spot. Oh, I can't see too much here. Too much going on. My teammate trying to head over there, which is great and everything, but I just don't know if it's the best idea right now. Okay, they're coming at me, but I was able to at least get the triple strike out. It didn't really do nothing, but I, I, I got it out. So, they're at checkpoint one. I'm getting over there as soon as I can. Ooh. Oh no, here they come. This is not good. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to hit them, but there's like three things there at once. There's the big drink canister in the way. They're trying to fling ink at me. There's the killer whale also I'm trying to dodge. This is too much. Okay, they lost the tower, but they are in the lead. I'm gonna put that wall there. Try to damage you a little bit or something. Like right now this is a mess. I need to go back, because I'm out of ink anyways. Took that tower. I'll jump back over. Oh no, they definitely see me here. Gotcha though, at least it's a trade. You know, just, geez, it's hard to get anything else right now. They're not too far ahead of us, so only 10 points. That's something we could turn around on quite quickly. Especially now, now that there's only two checkpoints instead of three. I think the last map had three, right? Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like there is just room for bouncing back in major ways. Okay, jumping over. I'm going to toss that wall in a place where it's probably not gonna be any help at all, but we got that. I'm going to do that and see if it does anything. I'm doubtful. Okay, I got you there. And then I heard somebody from somewhere. Let's get up here. Why are we losing the tower? I missed them there, unfortunately. If I could have landed that, that would have been a big deal. So really stinks that I wasn't able to wipe out. They're still in the lead, but only by four points now. So we're closing in on it. We got this team. Okay, I got them a little bit. Can we finish them off one way or another? I guess not, I was so silly. Oh, and now they're behind me again. Hi. Jeez, that is so frustrating that we just couldn't get them before. We still have full two minutes here, so it's not really worth panicking over. And then, right here, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Whoa, where did that come from? Way over there? I guess so. Weird. Took the tower back. I'll head over here for now. Oh no, here we go. Where did they go? <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of vertical angles for this map, and it is so difficult to do anything about it. Just doing anything 
you know, close range vertical with a charge like this, it doesn't work at all. It's just, it's such an awkward thing. All right. Yeah, they're too far, I think, to get them from there. We lost the tower, I didn't even know we had it. Okay, we can get that all covered up. Okay, I got them. And then they're way up here, uh-oh, well. Uh, I'm going to try to skedaddle. No, don't tease me. Don't do it. Okay, run, run. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait, there's nothing over here. Oh, no, I'm in so much trouble. I can't do anything. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I have my triple strike, too. I shouldn't have ran that way, but I was panicking. All right, well. Lost the tower again. Haven't really done too much with it. When we have had it. And they know that, so they're, they're sort of trying to hold off for the moment. Okay, you know what? I see you over there. I'm gonna toss a couple over there. It'll do nothing for me. It didn't look like they were even facing me. But uh, they were able to take me out. I don't think this team is synchronizing super well. It just never feels like we're taking advantage of anything that's going on. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this next few seconds. It's not gonna be easy, especially when every time I turn the corner. Okay. <laughs> Every time I turn the corner, there's somebody who's very advantaged to close range waiting for me. So, they lost the tower, but unless we take it back right now, they took it. That's the opposite of what we need, so that's gonna be game. So I think we've still lost more than we've won so far today. We need to win one more to even it out now, but geez, it's rough. Okay, well here's our chance to sort of redeem ourselves on Manta Maria. I've yet to win here yet now, so. We'll love to get that chance this time. So we'll launch ourselves over here. And just get moving. I like this color of green. Maybe that's a good sign. Just gotta get out there, get that tower, and get away. Okay, well, I missed that. That's unfortunate. Maybe not the best start, to say the least. But they got me with the blob lobber. And they wiped out our entire team. Yikes. Okay, I'm heading over. We lost the lead. Ah, oh, I almost got them there. Couldn't quite make it work though. We're gonna pop up like this, put the wall down. I put it in the worst spot possible. Uh, and I was just stuck that entire time. <laughs> this is not feel to get a second wipeout? I have never seen such a quick back-to-back -back wipeout. They're past checkpoint two. I guess there is three checkpoints in this one. This is the first one, it's very, very early on. How did that not hit? There we go, much better, much better. Um, we took the tower, that's what we like to see. And we got them a wipeout, awesome. Let's even this out a little bit now. Cover up some of the turf here so that we have the ink strike. And then maybe get up here. And then just toss it around a little bit just to give them a hard time. I was hoping I could fall down after that, but it didn't quite work out, that's fine. We're at checkpoint one, so maybe this is where I can jump over to some of my teammates who are splatting some of them. They might have started with the lead, but we can certainly take this back, right? Um, maybe. Okay, I got them a little bit. I heard the, the contact noise there, but it wasn't enough to splat them. Maybe jumping around as a charger player just isn't worth it in almost every circumstance. It took that tower back, but I'll put that wall there. And that person is too far to hit. Yeah, this is not good. I need to find another way to approach this right now. Okay, got you a little bit, but they just, some of their other teammates found me. How lucky is that? Great. We're back up though. Hopefully our gear's been helping us get back up sooner. It just, is it soon enough? Uh, gotcha. And I see them way over there. Ah, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe the blob lobber can now reach me like that. That really stinks. It's the whole strength of this weapon is its range. It's being outranged. And that scheme. I don't know. I think that's probably where I've had my fill of charger action because it's just, it's too tough. It's just not for me. So we'll keep it there. It's still not a bad kit. And we had a couple of really cool spots in this one. Usually I barely get any at all. So to get a couple of cool moments in today's episode, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're gonna go check out some of the shops and see if there's any kind of cool items for us waiting there. But I guess we'll see if we got any level ups or anything. Um, with only two splats and a number two jump spot, yeah, not the best. 
But we only lose two points. We definitely gained a bunch of points today because we finished our one series. And not quite getting any upgrades here. So we'll stop that there. And we'll just run over to the shop. So we have things like the headgear, the clothing, all that kind of thing. And we got a couple of uh, catalog level ups, I think. So, what do we got? Anything cool here? I think first we'll start with this jungle hat. Ooh, that looks cool, actually. Definitely like it. And I think we'll just start clearing up the stores a bit more. Oh no, actually, I don't have too much money right now. I forgot that we spent so much of it. Whoa, okay. Let's just get something from Jelly Fresh Clothing then. I'll do um, the Sunday tea, or the sunny day tea. And then for the shoes, we only have one pair here, the black trainers. I'm sorry, I'll plug in my controller between episodes. Uh, and what do we have here for Hotlantis? Your catalog level went up. We get ourselves some nice looking gear and also a pack of cards. So what do we have in this one? Clash Blaster Neo, cool. And I guess we can afford this, but we already have one, so we'll leave the rest for now. That was a ton of fun in my opinion, even if it was super challenging, a little, a little deflating at times, we put in our best effort, and we got a couple of cool spots. So stay tuned, because there's more weapons being showcased super soon. For right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.